Hello, everyone. I'm here today to talk about a topic that is increasingly important in our digital age, the right to privacy. The right of privacy, broadly defined as the right to be left alone, is considered the most comprehensive of rights and the right most valued by a free people. This right is fundamental to the concept of personal freedom and autonomy. It is a right that protects individuals from unwarranted intrusion into their personal lives, allowing them to control who has access to their personal information and how it is used. The right of privacy is deeply rooted in many legal systems and is often considered a fundamental human right. It is enshrined in various international human rights instruments, such as the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. In many jurisdictions, the right of privacy is also protected by constitutional provisions and statutory laws. However, the right of privacy is not absolute and may be limited by other competing rights and interests. For example, the right of privacy may be limited by the right to freedom of expression, the right to public safety, or the need to prevent and investigate crime. Therefore, striking a balance between the right of privacy and other competing rights and interests is a complex and challenging task. Before we jump into the main discussion, here's a simple real-world scenario that illustrates the concepts of information privacy, communications privacy, and data privacy. Imagine Alice a college student who is working on a research project about the impact of climate change. She uses her personal email to communicate with various experts in the field, seeking their insights and opinions. This is where communications privacy comes into play. Alice has the right to expect that her email conversations will remain private and not be monitored or intercepted by unauthorized individuals or organizations. One day, Alice decides to sign up for an online platform that provides access to various scholarly articles related to her research. The platform asks for her personal information, including her name, email address, and academic institution. This is where data privacy comes into play. Alice should have control over what personal data she shares, how it's used, and how long it's retained. The platform should also take reasonable steps to protect the security of Alice's personal data. However, unbeknownst to Alice, the platform has a data breach, and her personal information is leaked. The platform is required by law to notify Alice about the data breach. This incident highlights the impact of it on privacy. While it has made it easier for Alice to access resources for her research, it has also made her personal data vulnerable to breaches. In conclusion, this scenario underscores the importance of robust privacy laws and regulations to protect individuals' rights to privacy in the face of advancing IT. As technology continues to advance, it's crucial to continually reassess and update privacy laws and regulations to ensure they adequately protect individuals' rights to privacy. Information privacy, a term first coined by Roger Clark, director of the Australian Privacy Foundation, is a particularly useful concept when discussing the impact of information technology, IT, on privacy. Information privacy is a combination of two aspects, communications privacy and data privacy. Communications privacy refers to the ability to communicate with others without those communications being monitored by other persons or organizations. This aspect of privacy is increasingly important in the digital age, where various forms of communication, such as emails, instant messages, and social media posts, can easily be intercepted and monitored. Protecting communications privacy ensures that individuals can freely express their thoughts and ideas without fear of surveillance. Communications privacy is often protected by laws that prohibit unauthorized interception and monitoring of communications. For example, many jurisdictions have laws that prohibit wiretapping and eavesdropping. However, these laws often have exceptions for law enforcement and national security purposes. Data privacy, on the other hand, 
refers to the ability to limit access to one's personal data by other individuals and organizations. This involves having a substantial degree of control over that data and its use. With the advent of big data and data mining technologies, personal data has become a valuable commodity. Protecting data privacy means ensuring that individuals have control over who has access to their data, what data is collected, how it is used, and how long it is retained. Data privacy is often protected by laws that regulate the collection, use, and disclosure of personal data. These laws often require organizations to obtain the consent of individuals before collecting their personal data and to use that data only for the purposes for which it was collected. These laws also often require organizations to take reasonable steps to protect the security of personal data and to notify individuals in the event of a data breach. Impact of it on privacy. The advent of IT has had a significant impact on both communications and data privacy. On one hand, it has made communication easier and more efficient, but it has also made it easier for third parties to intercept and monitor communications. Similarly, while it has made it easier to collect, store, and analyze data, it has also made it easier for third parties to access and misuse personal data. Therefore, it is crucial to have robust privacy laws and regulations in place to protect individuals' right to privacy in the face of advancing IT. These laws and regulations should strike a balance between the benefits of IT and the need to protect individuals' privacy rights. In conclusion, the right to privacy, particularly information privacy, is a complex issue that has been significantly impacted by the advent of IT. As technology continues to advance, it is crucial to continually reassess and update privacy laws and regulations to ensure that they adequately protect individuals' right to privacy. This is a continuous and evolving process that requires the active participation of all stakeholders, including individuals, organizations, and governments. Thank you for joining us in this important discussion on information privacy. Remember, in our digital age, safeguarding our personal data and communications is not just a preference, but a fundamental right. It's the embodiment of our freedom to be left undisturbed and to exercise control over our personal information. Let's continue to advocate for robust privacy standards and remain vigilant in protecting what is most valued by free people everywhere. Until next time, keep your data secure and your conversations private.